with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Today was a pretty interesting day because if you went outside, the actual air did not feel like it was the middle of summer. However, you could tell though on your skin from the sun angle that that sun's very intense this time of the year. So while it looked like July, it didn't feel like July outside at all this afternoon across the area. Now this evening, a few clouds beginning to stream in here. I'm not really anticipating much rain this evening. However, tomorrow, I think a better chance for scattered showers and storms across the area. Right now, across the river at the Radisson, we're at 7 73 degrees. We've got a northwesterly breeze at around six. How about record cold this morning? That's right. We didn't break records. We shattered records. How about the old record at 54? We dropped all the way down to 50 at the airport. That means that probably out your back door and on many of your car thermometers this morning, you probably woke to temperatures actually in the upper 40s across a good part of the area. So again, unseasonably cool. And that has just really been the trend of this entire month of July here. We've only had a total of four days in which we've seen temperatures at or above normal for this time of the year. Our normal high during the month of July, about 86. And notice that we've only did it here in the beginning of the month. And then we've only had one 90 degree day for the entire month of July. And we're about ready to close the month out. But all these blue squares, they represent temperatures that are at or below normal. And we've had quite a few of those, especially that string of 70s here the past couple of weeks. This evening, unseasonably cool. Let's call it a nice evening, though. Under partly cloudy skies, temperatures will sink from where they are now, around 70, back down into the 60s for many of us. Some clouds have developed across the area and even some showers and storms across north central Indiana. However, as these are dropping south and east, I think they're going to run out of steam before they make it to the tri state because as soon as the sun sets, this activity is going to fall apart. However, if you're up near I 70, for example, maybe parts of Preble County, maybe Union. County, I wouldn't completely rule out a stray shower making its way that far south before they fall apart later on this evening. And they're all being driven by a little area of low pressure. We like to call these like a little disturbance that's spinning around around our big storm center that's bringing us the cool air. It's going to help tomorrow as it drops towards the Ohio River, kick off a few scattered showers and storms for us during the afternoon and evening. Very similar to what we're seeing up near Indianapolis tonight. So 70 right now in Hamilton, that's it. 70 in Springboro, 70 in Wilmington as well, 71 in Peebles. Oh, it's 73 down there in Owington, 74 right now in Batesville. Tonight will be cool again, not quite as cool as last night, but still cool for July. I'm talking mid 50s across the area, and our record lows tonight are a little bit lower. So with us staying in the mid 50s, I don't expect for us to break records overnight tonight. Tomorrow. Should be a nice day temperature wise. Most areas will climb just shy of 80 degrees. Maybe the farther south in the bluegrass, better chances of getting 80 over towards Brooksville. Let me show you future cast and you'll see what happens. There's this evening's activity. It does make a run for southeast Indiana, but then it falls apart. We'll wake up to mostly sunny skies tomorrow, but during the afternoon and evening, scattered showers and storms will develop. And of course, they'll go away once the sun sets. As we head towards the end of the week and the weekend, we do expect a gradual warming trend. 56 for a low tonight with just a few clouds. And then tomorrow, expect partly cloudy skies, pop up storms. Look for a high of around 79. Here's your day planner starting out the day around 60, climbing up to about 74 by the lunch hour. And here's your seven day forecast. Temperatures will climb through the 80s. So it is a warming trend, but it's only back to where we should be. This is still very comfortable weather for the start of August. All right, Kev, thank you. I think I already know.